The doors open for the final week of abortion services at the Nashville Planned Parenthood Clinic, where they will stop accepting patients as of Friday. The clinic's website warns that due to recent changes in Tennessee law, they can no longer provide medication or surgical abortion services. They can only help women travel out of state for care. We don't want anybody to wait and thinking that this is going to get better because it's only going to get worse and it's going to get worse really fast. In Tennessee, the clock is now ticking on a trigger ban of almost all abortions at the end of July. Any day before that, the state's courts could overturn a stay of an existing heartbeat law banning abortions after six weeks. Nobody's looking at this as a full picture. Abortion is not black or white. The looming loss of abortion rights prompted like Taylor Eshi to, 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 to go to public to with her own story. Uh, you know. I don't think anybody should feel alone. Abortion is completely normal. It's health care and it should be accessible. Last summer, Taylor was stunned to learn she was pregnant despite using birth control. At 28 and running her own business, she and her fiance made the difficult decision to end the pregnancy. I don't have anybody to cover for me maternity, wise, maternity leave wise. I'd have to pay myself that. I have to pay for childcare because I do not intend to stop working. And unfortunately, if I were to have that child, like I would have built every or lost everything that I have built. Stand up, fight back! In post row America, women face a patchwork of bans and choices. Some states have vowed to go so far as to prosecute women who travel for abortions. Others have expanded and protected abortion access in their laws. Advocates for reproductive choice warn many women will be unable to travel and will simply fall through the cracks. In states like Tennessee, they're calling on lawmakers to deal with the consequences of banning abortion. In this new chapter where people are going to be uh, forced to carry their pregnancies to term or have to leave the state to access care, that we'll have policies here that can actually take care of families because we're going to have to. Here in Nashville, the local district attorney now says he will not prosecute doctors who provide abortions or the women who seek them. And that puts him at direct odds with the state's attorney general, who is actually trying to accelerate the timeline for implementing the state's trigger ban on abortion. Nithu? Jackson Prosco in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks, Jackson.